on how we hey sit. Hey everyone, oh, thanks right, for joining. All right, wait, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. All right. Hey everyone, thanks for joining. So we're going to do a little bit of an interview with Andrew today to let you know who Andrew is as a person and as an EP. So Andrew, um, how long have you been an EP for? Um, well, I graduated in well, mid-2019, it was like June or July or something around there, um, and then started work in 2020, beginning of the year full time, mm -hmm. uh, as a rehab consultant, but also doing some uh, like EP treatment work on the, well not on the side, it was part of, part of the role, but um, it was mainly in work cover and um, PCP claims, so a lot of experience okay. in that side, but was, wasn't as much with um, everything else. Okay, cool. Um, what's your favourite thing about being an EP? Um, I guess a favourite thing would have to be just the positive impact you have on um, on people's lives. Like you know, they come in generally with um, whether it be an injury or, or something sort yep. of affecting them. But then you know, over the, over time, they start to see positive changes which impact them and their daily lives in general. And just being able to help with that is is something that. You know, uh, it's quite re rewarding to be able to do that with your career. Yeah, nice. That's really cool. Um, what have you enjoyed about being at the clinic so far? Um, a bit of everything. Like, team environment's been great. Everyone's sort of fun. We all get along. Um, the same with the sort of members. Like, obviously, every day we have like the groups and stuff as well. So everyone has a, a bit of a laugh, bit of a um, bit of banter sort of thing. So mm. it, it's always good to sort of you know enjoy coming to work because you get that side of things as well. Yeah. Um, but then also get to sort of knuckle down and have some of the challenges and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. I know we do have quite a diverse, uh, I guess, range yeah, exactly. here. Exactly. So yeah. it's, a, it's a big range, which also helps out. Um, you know, you get to sort of, it doesn't get boring. It always changes it up. Oh, definitely. Um, different things to sort of see and, and different ways to, to go about things, which, yeah. which is always good. Yeah. Um, what do you do when you're not at work? Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, usually the gym. Uh, gym, eating, tan, laundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know how it is. <laughs> we gotta, you got, you got to train, you got to train. But um, that's probably my, my biggest hobby at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I like sports. I used to be big like on playing soccer, but not so much anymore since okay. since you, when I started uni, that mm. sort of stopped off a bit. Um, I'd like to get back into it, but but mainly the sort of the gym's taken over. Yeah. Um, so that, that's probably most of my spare time. But I also enjoy like you know occasionally going to the movies or you know going out to eat or something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah nice. That's cool. It's just the general stuff now. Yeah. It's a bit hard at the moment with COVID, but yeah. you know, it is what it is. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, okay, and what is the one thing that might surprise someone about you? Um, I guess I'm a little bit of a weirdo. I like to like to do different things like, you know, riding a unicycle, learning <laughs> to do a Rubik's Cube. Um, How often have you ridden a unicycle? Uh, I used to own one. For, uh, oh, I probably okay. haven't ridden that in about two years because uh, I sold it. But um, uh, okay. I, I used I, to, I've like, definitely got to see that. Yeah, I, I want to. Um, Maybe we should hire one so we can <laughs> that, that, see. That, that, that'll be good. See I'll, Andrew riding a unicycle. The first thing Aaron said was, "You need to bring one in," but I don't have it anymore. <laughs> but um, I think we need to maybe get one and yeah. see, see if I can still ride it. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be able to anymore, but we can we can give it a go. It'll be good fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like stuff like that. Mm. More, more recently, I'm trying to learn to do like a, a backflip sort of thing, okay. or like a round off, and it's going to lead to a backflip. Yeah. yeah. So, so building on that, which yeah. you know, a few fail attempts here and there, but yeah. that, that's going to come along with it. So yeah. uh, always just you know different mm. things that not many people try. Yeah, nice. So, yeah. Very cool. Well, it's great to have you here, and I'm sure if you come into the clinic or call up or whatnot, um, or even on social media, you'll be able to see Andrew in full action. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Thank you.